Hello, little friends, Dapper Drow here, and today we're going to go over our win and end match against our second opponent. Uh, they did never, they never responded me to give me permission to post it to YouTube, so I will be covering up their name with this little symbol right here. If you guys can see, without my hand being too blurry, you'll see this little symbol. We'll cover up their name, um, and hopefully that will suffice. Um, I will be eventually putting up round three. That one I do have the audio for. I have to redo the audio for two, which is what this is. And um, and then you guys will see if I made it past round three or not. So, here we go. We're going to go ahead and go into the clip. Maybe. There we go. There we go. Okay, so it did go into the clip. Um, it's going to start playing right away. And we have the name covered up. Just gotta make sure I set it up so that then it changes once we get it changed up. So there we go. This is the match. Um, I'm playing my dust garb, and the, he is playing buzz hole. So we'll see who comes out on top today. So I missed that. So it looks like we are mulliganing our first turn. How much we can do about that? Waiting for our opponents to finish. Looks like we're starting off with a Kartana, which is not ideal. It's not ideal at all, but it's just something we have to deal with. But. Uh, could Blade GX, but not ideal at all. Especially since I know I'm facing a Buzz Rock. It's just not a, not good to use Blade. Because it takes away that GX attack that you're going to need later in the game. Whether it's going to be with Celesteela or with Duskmane. So I'm just showing off what it uh, does. So you'll probably see my hands a lot in this one since I'm not playing. I'm just kind of commentating on what I was doing. I could move the camera though if you guys really want to see uh, how I was reacting at the time. That might be funner than uh, the scary face down here. So let me just switch that over. There you guys go, you can see how my face was reacting during the event. I know, it's it's two of me. There's two of me. So I was clearly like, not liking my setup here. So I, I just checking the deck. It's normal to go ahead and do that first turn. Make sure you have all your resources that you need. Yeah, and this version plays is a little weird. Plays mysterious treasures, no ultra balls, and relies on that ultra space in order to uh, bring out the dust mains. Not much I can do, so I'm just gonna attach an energy and a fighting fury bow. And we're gonna try to get ahead in this, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm questioning whether or not I want to keep the Garbodor and the other draw support or not. I think I play four Cynthia's, two ends, and three Sycamores. So there's nine outs for drawing, and I didn't want to throw away any. We do get out the Duskmane and Celesteela, which is pretty good. I'm drinking my root beer there. We're in my, uh, my gold, my gold shirt swagger. It's Mudhens is a baseball team. Gets the Tapu Lele and is probably going to... Probably just Sycamore. Could be wrong though, he could end. But doesn't necessarily help him. I'm gonna Guzma up something and hope it doesn't retreat. Which we have a Guzma in hand, I think we switch right back. Yeah. Wants to put damage on Duskmane right away. 
it is the uh, normal attacker. Everybody assumes that it's the one that's going to bring in the hurting. So what is my thought process here? Could attack with Kartana, but I know I don't. Probably attaching to Celesteela and letting Duskman go down. Maybe. Bringing in the Reggie. Gonna go ahead and attack with uh, Kartana. I didn't think I did that, but I guess I did. Could have Blade GX there, but again, takes away the GX attack for later in the game. They're gonna use their Guzma right away and bring in that Duskman with damage on it. So it gets a really strong start here. Takes out my main attacker. But uh, I think it actually just gives me the advantage, depending what this top deck is. So I can attack. Yeah, I can use a Kartana to put it back in the deck and start building up Celesteela. Probably what I'm going to do, because Celesteela has the resistance. Uh, Duskmane does not. I have no clue what I'm saying up there. Just, uh, yeah, attaching to Celesteela. Not sure what else to do. I think I'm going to Gale Blade and go back into the deck to deny a prize. And then Celesteela has resistance. But we got a top deck out of this. A max elixir. And they're gonna end us. There we go, that's how you get out of it. Must have not had anything else to play. Looks like I'm eating my dinner. <laughs> Pizza maybe? Knuckle impact, they take out the Celesteela. That puts us in a really rough spot. How do I get out of this? Maybe I lose the first one. I think I lost the first one. And then I came back in the next two. But that swole is so swole. And I have no energy on board. Could have got rid of the... Strong energy maybe? Looks like I'm debating whether or not to get the uh, Trevish. Decide to throw away the metal. Grab the Lele probably. We just want a draw supporter for next turn. Debating what to do here. Probably just grab a s N. Oh, because they have um, two prizes left. They must have had a seven card hand. I can't really see it. And a rescue stretcher brings stuff back. Get six cards, throw down Celesteela in the Trubbish. And I think we're going to retreat and hit for 90. This is pretty good. Like the duck shot. Hit for 90. It can attack this turn, but I don't realize that. So I'm looking at Regirock as an option to knock out since it has 100 HP left. And there's a Guzma. 
but we can take out the dusk main. So I'm not sure what to do. I think we're gonna ultra space for, and then it's gonna grab the Kartana, which we can use. Knock out the beast energy off of the baby buzz so that it can't attack so easily next turn. We could Guzma out something, but... Okay, we're choosing something that can't retreat. So we're going to go back into the Dusk Main and knock out the Buzz Hole. I think that's what we're doing here. Just trying to figure out a way to get caught back up. And we're trying to take out the Buzz Hole and the... Uh, ready rock in order to get caught back up so there goes the buzzle because we know that's his threat we're going to take it out first get a garbo uh oh we did attach energy wasn't sure we attached that metal energy to dusk main and krasma beast ringing it up putting it on the baby beast baby buzz and that's all i had Wow. So I think we're going to play down the Garbodor, throw another Metal Energy down. I guess we should have put that on the Baby Dusk main. Might as well pull it out of the deck and thin it. And we are going to Dust Shot. And we're 10 off. Literally, if we had the Fighting Fury Belt. Maybe that made a mistake. We probably should have did the Lele instead. I think I was saying Cynthia is no problem. Doesn't affect our uh, field. We're going to pull in the Lycanroc. And then you get that Floodstone. And they're going to attack with the Baby Buzz, I believe. Because it hits for huge numbers. This actually might one shot the Dusk Lane. Oh, he's doing a dangerous road for the last two prizes. Does make sense. So we got the defeat. The uh, pressure is on on. We're going to do this to block the next thing. And uh, we're going to see if we can come out of this uh, top. Doesn't look like I know how to block stuff too well. Let's we'll see if I get in trouble. And we're ready for the second match against Buzzhole. Chose to sell the Leo coin. I won, I get to choose, I'm going first. I don't need these on anyway. And a mulligan, and a mulligan. We're going to start with Lele. We play one in the deck. And it's already looking bad for us. It looks like we're out in this round. There's the baby buzz. So it's like, what's the choice here? Got the float. Lily or Lily for two or Cynthia or Sycamore. Lily for three. That's what we're going with. Lily for three. But we do get the mysterious treasure. We toss that out and get the trubbish. All that trouble. 
get that down. We might be able to get the Gargador down the following turn. Doesn't do us much good though. It looks like we are done. Could have saved the float stone probably though. And this is just looking like a bad start for us. They're gonna Guzma. Which is why we could have kept the float stone off the field. Just gonna do 50 to the Trubbish. Might as well. And I think we're just gonna Sycamore here. Hate throwing away the Guzma, but what else are we gonna do? And I think that's what I'm saying. Guzma, Cynthia, is it worth it? Could uh, try to donk with this. We're trying to keep the Guzma and the Beast Ring. It's just too important to get rid of. Max Elixir. Might as well throw that on the Lele, I think. No, doesn't mean that was about to say. We do get the float so we can retreat, grab another Trubbish by throwing away the Duskmane. And then we can stick them more next time. Just gonna put damage down with the Lele. 60 damage, it's halfway there. Mm, two energies. Got a sycamore. Gonna get a fresh hand. And this is where he kind of breaks. He's trying to get the Buzzle GX. And it's just really hard for him. Throwing away a sycamore and another draw supporter. Just to try to get out this Buzzle. Because I didn't throw any uh, Ultra Space or anything to help him get them bricked. Lele takes 100 and can hit back for a knockout. It's unnecessary to play Kartana, but I guess if I don't play it now, I'm not going to. But this is the smart play to take out the baby buzz hole because the baby buzz hole is the problematic one. So I guess I'm saving everything. There's nothing I super need. I wish I attached energy, but not, I didn't really need it. We get the energy. It's buzz hole versus Lele. And another buzz hole and a beast energy. Gonna do that uh, 60 damage to it, but not quite a knockout. Not quite. We're gonna go ahead and put that there. We have the B string for the following turn. We're just gonna put some damage on that buzz hole. Let him take out the Lele. And I was just saying, I'm doing 40. I think I Beast Ring GX attack here. And then Meteor Tempest the following turn. To take four prizes in those two turns. I guess I'm going to max Elixir first. So I hit that. I'm going to Beast Ring. Probably do the same thing. I assume it's to the Duskmane. Yeah, it's to the Duskmane. Guzma out the full art one, why? I guess so I can... Sunny Eclipse. Just take it out all together. Get a Guzma and a uh, uh, Rescue Stretcher. They gotta bring out the other Buzz Hole. Not sure. I think he might just concede. Yeah, he concedes because he's like 
didn't really have anything to do. Duskman was definitely taking out the buzz hole next turn. So block that off again. He challenges me. I gotta make sure I have the right deck. Because I have way too many decks in this game. I gotta really get rid of them. This is for all the marbles. We each won one. We're gonna see who comes out and stays in the tournament. I would love to go first, but I lost, so I'm letting him go first. Should have asked him, but I don't think we were conversing at the exact time. We had the Discord open to talk back and forth, but it was really only like good games and stuff like that. We're going to start with the Dusk Main, which is uncommon apparently for this deck, even though it's the m most Pokemon we have in here. We have two Trubbish, two Garbodors, and two Dusk Main, and I never seem to start with any of them. Well, the Trubbish I start with occasionally. An N right away. Let's find him, put that Max Elixir back in the deck, and the Mysterious Treasure for those Trubbishes. Starts with the Pups. We get two Mysterious Treasures, a couple Guzmas that we don't really want to throw away, but I think we might have to. That's an I don't know. I don't know what to do. My turn. We get an energy and a max elixir. And a mysterious treasure. We're going to probably treasure for. We're going to probably throw away treasure with treasure to get a Lele, I believe. Getting rid of the end. Thinking about Trabish and then choosing Lele, I believe. I thought this was a play I made. What is the play I made then? It's been a couple. It's been about a week since I uh, recorded this, so I don't know exactly what my play was and what I did at any given time. So I did choose Trubbish. Interesting. I think I'm throwing away the other. I'm using the other treasure to grab the uh, Lele. And let's damn it to it. Yep, throwing away a Guzma, we're like, eh, but we're gonna do it. To grab a Lele. Probably gonna max Elixir to Lele. And then uh, Lily. Oh, I'm not gonna max Elixir to Lele. I'm gonna try to retreat and do it all to Duskmane. I really thought I would have double attached there. But it worked out. In our favor, we're gonna go into Lele. Max Elixir. Get a Metal Energy. I think we're gonna throw a Metal Metal Energy down on him. And save that for the Garbodor. Oh, we were second, so we really could have put the pressure on with Lele there. Ah, uh, but that's that's the play we made. Just straight wreckage. I'm gonna Guzma up the Buzz Hall with all the energy on it. It's loaded up Buzz Hall against a loaded up Dusk Me. We grab the Garbodor for good measure, and I think we sick of more. Threw away Guzmas there to try to end this quickly. And a Meteor Tempest. Wow. I think we're keeping the special energy. Which we shouldn't have, but... I guess so we can multi-switch it later to Lele and use it as a GX attack. We get a Metal and a Duskmane. Probably just going to play both those down. We're going to end us to four, which is fine. Gives us one more card than what we had. But we did have a perfect hand. And now we don't. 
But we could, uh... F nah, there's nothing we can do. Attach a metal and... Sycamore? Probably gonna lay lay, or probably gonna... Cynthia to keep the Guzma. That looks like our play. Cynthia, keep the Guzma. And hope that we get a Floatstone and a Max Elixir. Uh, hopefully I see that. Retreat that Max Elixir. And then we're gonna have to... Oh, that's right. We can't attack that turn because... We already played our uh, supporter, and we uh, switched into the we went to the bench, and we're gonna we're pass on the Garbodor. We would have been able to Guzma there. We would have been able to switch, but I don't think you can use Guzma unless your opponent has a bench Pokemon. Gets the Lycan Rock. But the ability's blocked. Going to probably dangerous rogue to take out the um, Carbidor. And if he doesn't get a Benchmon, I think the game is over. He gets a buzz hold on. Beast rings onto the buzz hole. Gets that set up. He's trying to come back here. Knuckle impact. Take out one prize. We got the Dusk main. We're going to Meteor Tempest. And I think we're going to hold because of the B string. We know he's going for Dangerous Rogue the following turn. But he can't knock us out with Dangerous Rogue, actually. So B-String's not useful unless they can take out Duskmane. There's uh, 220. Again, with the three metal energies in order to take out the Buzzhole. Two more prizes, and it's down to this. Can the Lycan Rock come back? He's only going to hit for 100. With the uh, Dangerous Rogue, so he's probably not going to use that. Wonder Tag for an N, I believe. It's got to be an N. Cynthia. I would have guessed the N, so I would have been down to two cards. So see, this is the reason you still play N. You got to adjust your opponent's hand. Gets the cards on a super rod to put some energies back and some buzz holes. We just gotta take two more prizes. Dangerous road for 150 damage. We gotta get something. Doesn't look like we're getting anything. I think we're waiting for him to take out the uh, dusk main there. So we can uh, come back with the other Dustman. So you see I got swept that first game. Second game I swept. And this one is getting really close. Could go either way. Gonna max elixir for nothing. For nothing. And then we still have our Celesteela and uh, Duskmane here in order to put pressure on next turn. We have not used our GX attack yet. But we're not going to be able to use Duskmane's. What do I do? I already used Dangerous Rogue. I don't have to worry about my bench space anymore although I don't think I was put some steel down we could put the baby dust main there's really nothing he can do we can try to deflect with Celestila maybe resistance I don't know why we did that because we could have just had him take out the uh, dust main 
And then we could have uh, B string, B string for uh, something. So we're in a bit of a pickle now. We have two energies on board. They have a fully set up Lycanroc. Getting all those damage modifiers down since we are not having the Garbodroid on yet. A max elixir to the baby bus. Most likely. And missed it. 160 on the Celestilla. It missed. We get the Trubbish. And we can play the B string and the Floatstone the following turn. And I think that's what we're planning on doing. Could have played it this turn had we not retreated the Duskmane. I think we still whiff the energy the following turn too. A tough Lycan Rock we're facing. Claw Slash, he's like, can I come back? He's down to three prizes, we're down to two. So we bricked hard here. What is the play? I guess I'm going with the... Put him up there. We'll figure out free retreat. And here we take it. If we play it right, we're going to have the B string. Oh, we just play out our hand. No, no, no. Next one over. Next one over. Darn. Hmm. <laughs> Even I can see that misplay. I don't know what I was doing. Why? Just why did I do that? I guess I'm waiting for him to take out the Duskmane. Yeah, I guess my brain did not work there. B-string, Beast Energy on the Duskmane, retreat into it, and Meteor Tempest. It's definitely the play. Finish the game right there. Uh, but just put the Beast Energy on the wrong one. I think I'm seeing that now. So all I can do is retreat and put damage on Reggie Steel or something. I'm choosing oh, I'm choosing who to go with the B string. It's gonna have to be a Dusk main or the baby Dusk main. Well, duh. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's what I was ch gonna choose. I should have chose when I started the game, I guess. I don't know. We're just dust shotting. Probably the Registeel, but maybe I want to do 90 to Lycanroc. I think I'm gonna do Lycanroc because it's just there. It does nine, three more, 30 more damage because of the beast energy. So that's probably I'm just gonna dust shot right up front. I can't believe that was a big misplay. That's all I needed. But see, I like Dust Garb. It has the ability to be Buzzhole if it doesn't hit the bricks right away. So you see, I discarded energy twice and then I kind of bricked. Don't see any of my uh, energy retrievals, which is uh, Soglio Prism Star. And I think. Uh, no, there's no super rod in it. It's just so Galeo Prism Star. So we didn't see that at all. I'm letting him take that. I'm gonna put the free retreater up there and decide how I'm going to take out this buzzhole. A float stone. That does not help us. Luckily we are down in prizes and can just GX Sun Eclipse GX it. Way closer than it should have been. And so we took that victory, we moved further along in the team winning in tournament. Uh, it's a great tournament. Uh, well ran, I believe, and I can't wait until their next um, thing. Their next tournament should be a lot of fun. Showing off his uh, buzzhole list here. 
a little bit, but I want to thank my opponent for that. Uh, he who may not be named. It was a, it was a great battle. I, he just super bricked hard, and I was able to take the victory and show off the power of Duskmane. I want to thank everybody for stopping by, checking out this whole match, and seeing who won. Um, I guess I will post the next one very soon, and I'll see you guys in that video. For now, this has been Dapper Drabby. I'll bid you guys a Lola, and see you in another.